Hey guys, Dan Valamont here with Fanatic Wrestling. Once again, we are out in Geneva, Ohio at the Spire Institute, uh, about 30 miles west, east rather, of Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and we are out here with the Team USA National Team Training Camp, out here learning a ton of great technique and freestyle wrestling, um, learning from some of the best coaches in the country and the world, and training with some of the best wrestlers in the world. And again, we've been training specifically for freestyle, so today I wanna go over um, just a really basic leg lace. All right, most of the technique I show on here can be kind of used for folk style or for freestyle, but this is going to be specific for freestyle wrestling. So um, Tony's going to start at the bottom of the parterre position here. And now our main two turns in freestyle are going to be your gut wrench and your leg lace. Like I said, we're going to go over the, the leg lace right now, but to set it up, we want him to start thinking that I'm not going for it. If I were to get my takedown and just end up here right away and try to go to this lace, a lot of times, if I just, as soon as I start to drop and I take pressure off of Tony and I start to drop back to my lace, he's going to bring his butt up and he's going to get his heels or his butt back towards his heels and make it really hard for me to get this leg lace. All right, this is good defense by him. And um, if he beats me in what we're going to call this little short race here, it's going to be really hard for me to um, get my leg lace. So my goal is to sell him on the fact that I'm trying to get my gut wrench. And then when I'm ready to drop back for my lace, I need to get my shoulder below his butt here. If I can get my shoulder below his butt, I should be able to get this leg lace. So again, if I'm working, like I'm trying to get my gut wrench here, maybe I don't even get my lock. And if I get my lock, I probably would go gut wrench, but I'm trying to work here to try to get something. And then whenever I'm ready to drop back to my lace, I'm gonna use my hands to either push off of his shoulders and back or off the mat, and I'm gonna push my hips all the way back and get my shoulder. For me, I like to, to leg lace from left to right. Um, so from the camera towards, or away from the camera, so if I want to do that, I want to get my right shoulder in his left hip, in the back of his uh, hamstring there. So I'm taking this, I'm trying to get this up. When I'm ready to go, I'm push myself back and get that shoulder right below his butt. Now, Tony's not going to stay right here. If he stays flat, I'm going to get this leg lace really easy on him. So a better guy is going to push back, just like he did before, but now I won this race. Now, my goal from here is I need to isolate a leg. And the leg that I want to isolate is the same side that my head's on from here. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, one way I prefer to do this, and I do both ways here, but um, is to take my, my hand that's on the opposite side over here, and I actually reach inside his left leg right on his hamstring, my outside hand, or his um, quad rather, and then I take my other hand that's on the outside and grab right at the shoelaces. I'm going to put it right up on the shelf here. So from here, I'm still driving in with my shoulder, keeping pressure on his hip, because I want to try to keep his hip down to the mat as much as possible. As I lift this up and shelf it, to keep trying to pressure up. As he pressures up, this is kind of a realistic position here. This happens a lot in the matches. So I'm trying to shelf this, and then I'm going to take this hand from here. I'm going to keep my forearm kind of glued to the side of his leg, and I'm going to grab right above his knee. As I do that, I'm going to replace that hand, and my other hand's going to go above his far knee. Now, Tony's not giving too much defense right now. There's a lot of things you can do if this guy's really flexible and bringing his knee up. We're not going to really get into that right now. We're just doing a basic lace here. So again, my shoulder's below his butt. Now I'm going to get up on my toes and drive forward. It's really important that I drive into him here. So my hand's above his knees. Both of my hands are above his knees, up on my toes, and drive. Now, if Tony's already flat, this is good. But if Tony was already trying to fight into me a little bit more and his hips were up, this is where I need to do this. So up on my toes, driving him flat. Now from here, I'm going to take my far foot from you, so it's my right foot, and I'm going to step over his far foot. I'm going to take my knee, and I'm going to scoop it underneath. From here, my hand that was on his knee kind of goes into our lace, the actual leg lace here, where I come under his far foot. I'm going to bring my hand right up on his calf. All right, this kind of locks it in here. And then from there, I'm going to keep my, my shelf leg high to keep this pinched, because if I don't do this, create some space here, he might be able to loosen it up. So hand to the calf, step my other leg up, and then when we're ready to do this turn, I'm gonna drive forward off my feet. It's very important, I'm always driving forward here. As I do that, my bottom hand's gonna grab around his knees and squeeze his knees together as I finish this turn. So driving forward, bottom hand punches through, driving off my toes still, and finishing here. Now, I got two points for that turn. If you wanted to, you could actually continue to elevate this and you could go through again. You can get into some cartwheels and stuff in here. We're not going to go over that right now because, again, we're just going over the basic technique for a leg lace. So, uh, face that way. So, 
So again, we faked going for our gut wrench here. I win this race, pushing up my hands, feet in the back to here. Now, like I said, I can be above both knees. You probably couldn't see it before. If I can get to here right away, I'm okay with that. But um, I think the good thing about this is that you're not telegraphing lace as much. Uh, but again, I like to reinforce this opposite side leg from you guys' left leg. So I like to double up on that. So I beat him in this race, got my head or my shoulder below his hip. I bring this hand over to help. I shelf it on my hip here. Then from here, both hands above his knees, up on my toes, driving in the flat. And my outside leg here, and my head leg goes between his legs, steps over, scoops, up on my toes still. Then my lace hand comes through, goes to his shin. And then from here, driving my feet, punch this arm through, and finish our lace. Um, facing away, so you guys can kind of see um, what I'm doing with my hands and my feet from this side. So again, faking, trying to get this, this gut wrench. I can't get it. Push myself back. He butts up. Switch this hand over. This hand's going to the laces. Shelf, keeping pressure into him. Hands above his knees. Up on my toes, driving flat. Again, really trying to drive into him, keeping pressure into him. I need to isolate his hip, get that flat on the mat. And then I'm using this outside knee to scoop. Brings that right to me. This hand comes through, wraps on the lace. And then my bottom hand's gonna punch through as I finish this race. As we finish our lace. And then again, if you want, you can continue to elevate this and you can go through again. But we're just gonna stick with our basic lace right now. So, multiple ways to do this. Like I said, these are just kind of some of the, the, the preferences that I have when I hit my leg lace. Plenty of other ways to do this for sure. So, um, if you've never done a leg lace before, this isn't a bad place to start. You can definitely build on this. Different ways to set it up, different ways to finish it off. You can drop down to the ankles. Again, I mentioned the cartwheel there. Um, different ways you can lock it up. Different defenses that Tony could give that I'm gonna have to react differently. But again, at the very basic level, this is your leg lace. So thanks for watching. Check out some of our other freestyle specific videos. I know we have um, some specific freestyle and Greco specific technique instructionals, full instructionals on our website, fanaticwrestling.com, bjjfanatic.com. So check those out. And then also make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, join our Facebook group, like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and then continue to check back for more of this free content. Talk to you guys soon.